Hi friends, today's lesson is for Module 3, Lesson 12. The other day, I took my little pal to the zoo. And at the zoo, we saw a gigantic polar bear. Isn't he so cute? And you know, Miles likes to play this game where he says, Hey mommy, how many of me would there have to be to be as big as that polar bear? Well, let's see. Um, you want to make sure that they're equal. So let's see, that polar bear is really big. So how many polar bears are equal to a number of miles? Let's see, miles. Um, well, you weigh about 60 pounds, and it said that polar bear weighs about 180 pounds. So that means we would need to have three miles to equal the same weight as that one polar bear. Isn't that funny? <laughs> yeah, I agree. That polar bear must be huge. Okay, well, this is actually perfect that he likes to play that game because our learning goal for today says, I can compare the weight of an object with other sets of objects on a balance scale. So just like Miles wanted to know how many of him there would need to be in order to equal the same weight as that polar bear, we're going to do that with different objects. Let me show you. So here I have a balance scale and I have a pumpkin on one side. And I want to see how many of another item I have to fill on the other side in order to make it equal. So I'm going to use some cherries. Let's see, okay, so I have that cherry, one, two, three, four. Oh, four, and then now it's perfectly even across. All right, now I want to describe how many cherries there are and how many pumpkins there are. So I could say the pumpkin is as heavy as four cherries. That way everybody knows that I am measuring the pumpkin by using a set of another object, which is the cherries. So for every one pumpkin, I need four cherries to make that balance scale even. All right, let's try another one. Here I have a basketball, and I'm going to use it to measure with ooh, a tennis ball. Okay, so this will make my balance scale even if I have one basketball and two tennis balls. My sentence would be, the basketball is as heavy as blank tennis balls. Friends, how many tennis balls did I need to use in order to make it the same weight as the basketball? Yeah, you're right. Perfect. Two. The basketball is as heavy as two tennis balls. Oh, my kitty got up there. My kitty fell asleep on one of the sides. All right, let's do it very quietly and carefully. Let's see. Um, I have some carrots. Let's put some carrots up there and see how many carrots it takes. One two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think I needed about five. That seems to make the balance scale equal to my cat. So let's say I want to put that into a sentence. So I could say the cat is as heavy as blank carrots. Friends, what number would I put in there to talk about how heavy my cat is compared to a group of carrots? Yeah, five. There are five carrots. So my whole sentence would be, the cat is as heavy as five carrots. Oh, a cute kitty. I almost don't want to change the slide. Okay, for this one, I already measured it out. I had a delicious cheeseburger on one side and then a whole bunch of lemons. Now, what could you say? How heavy is the cheeseburger compared to the lemons? Hmm, what could your sentence be? Oh, you have a good one? What is it? Oh, I like that one. I came up with the cheeseburger is as heavy as blank lemons. Now, how are we going to figure out how many lemons? Yeah, we're going to need to count them. Go ahead. Okay, did you come up with a lemon? All right, how many lemons are there? Perfect, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So our whole sentence is the cheeseburger is as heavy as six lemons. Excellent job, friends. Our learning goal for today says, I can compare the weight of an object with other sets of objects on a balance scale. And that's exactly what we did. Friends, now I want you to show me what you've learned. We're going to go ahead and we have a lunchbox on one side and some limes on the other. I want you to finish this sentence for me and then send it to me in Seesaw. The lunchbox is as heavy as blank limes. 
So fill in that blank with the number of limes that makes it even on the balance scale. Good luck, friends.